Hello guys, welcome to this new tutorial on EMG UCV. I'm going to talk about how we can perform morphological processing uh, using Windows Forms application and EMG UCV. Particularly, these are the seven different operations that are supported in EMG UCV. The first two, the erosion and the dilation, are the basic operations, and the rest four or five are basically the advanced operations which actually use these erosion erosion and the dilation we will explore them one by one so let's get started i have already created a project and configured it to use emg ucv if you don't know how to configure it you can check one of my previous videos so uh, let me add a form right click on the project go to add and click on windows form you can give it a name uh, just I'll keep as it is I need to uh, add two picture boxes one is to show the actual uh, input image that the user selects and uh, one is control C control V and this one will show the output image that is the what whatever we process it and I personally uh, prefer to use these menu strips so let me drag in and drop a menu strip so let me quickly create this user interface so uh, let the user select an image so we will use the open menu double click on that before writing any code let me you write this statement which is very important to use emgu cv emgu.cv and using emgu.structure cv.structure and uh, let me create an image uh, of type bgr and depth and just call it img input to hold the input image so now I will read the image uh, in the open tool strip menu when user clicks on that using open file dialog OFD is equals new open file dialog and just show this open file dialog to the user and if he selects ok then the dialog result are ok then we will read this uh, file into IMG input using this and in the constructor I am passing OFD dot file name is the parameter and I want to show this image in picture box one so picture box one dot image is equal to IMG input dot bit name so once the image is read we can now perform these operations the morphological pro, uh, operations to perform erosion let me double click on erosion and the first thing that i want to make sure that img input is not null so if it is null i'll say just return i'll not uh, show any message now uh, if it is not null then it will come and execute the rest of the code what we can do right now is uh, img input dot dilate we can perform the dilation operation directly so using the dilate uh, method we can specify the number of iterations into it and you can see that this one returns a bgr image and we can directly display it in picture box picture box two dot image equals equals dilation dot bitmap after it uh, is uh, dilated yeah i assume that you have the understanding of what is dilation erosion and and the basic concepts i'm just explaining it from the point of view of implementation we perform dilation on the input image and uh, we run it for one time only we can perform it many times it means it will keep repeating doing again and again but at the moment just we want to see uh, one time dilation and uh, convert it into bitmap so that we can display it in the picture box so let's run it and check the output first go to file open and read an image 
and perform the erosion operation so you can see the blur effect this will be more if we select for example if we do it for five times for example run it and then we again select this image and erosion so you can see the effect and the, the number of times it repeated uh, the more uh, severe effects of the dilation uh, of the erosion sorry uh, I'm sorry it is the <laughs> it is the erosion menu so I should do erode first and we can similarly do this for dilation actually I did it and I show it to you I will again show it to you just I will use the copy and paste and just change the dilate that's it and for the advanced operations opening is nothing just erosion followed by dilation so it is the same as if we perform the uh, erosion of the image and then the eroded image is dilated then we get the opening result but for this one we have uh, a new method uh, sorry a separate method in AMG CV. So let me do that. IMG input dot morphological morphology extension EX. You can see. So here we need to select the operation since I'm doing the opening. So we can use the uh, given enum to select what I want to. These are the different operations that we can perform. I want to perform open. So I selected the open and then the kernel this is very important i will define a kernel in a moment just a minute anchor point that by anchor point for example if we have a three by three matrix which element of that matrix will be used as the center if we use something like this for example new point minus one comma minus one it means the central element of that matrix will be used to uh, perform the operation on eight i want to do uh iteration for one time and the border type is border type dot i'll just keep it as default it's not very important for us so border value can be for example 1.0 or whatsoever now the important thing is the kernel so let me define a kernel it's a mate we can say mate kernel equals to um cv invoke dot get and uh, get structuring element so this is very interesting we need to define a shape for the structuring element let's say i i use a rectangular structure and what should be the size i just say it is a five by five matrix and uh, then the anchor point is the same as we used it i just call it minus one minus one and uh, this minus one minus one indicates what let me show you ms paint if we have a matrix let's say if we have a matrix like this let me free drawing let's say if this is a three by three matrix sorry for my drawing minus one minus one indicates that this is our central element we are defining this one as the central element so whatever the operations will be performed using this kernel the affected pixel is this central pixel that's why i gave minus one minus one and now here we put the kernel and uh, this morphological operation returns a bgr image and i can display directly in picture box 2 dot image equals to this one and since it does not accept uh, this image we need to convert into bitmap and that's it so this uh, morphology ex method is used for advanced operations let me run it and check if it works fine for me or not open open an image and then perform opening so you can see it perform the opening operation on it this is the dilation this is the er effect of erosion and similarly we can use this close for close i'll use hmm, i should also check here if uh, img input equals equals null i should return okay 
and I will use the magic of copy and paste for the rest of operations as well this is for closing so instead of using the only thing that I need to change here is the close and similarly I can perform the operation for gradient hey, gradient is very interesting it is basically the difference between the dilated image and the eroded image so oh, instead of open I am using here gradient sometimes we use it to find the um, edges and similarly this one is for top height top height is another interesting operation we will see the results where is top height top height uh, basically performs the difference between the input image and the opened image and similarly black uh, head basically performs the difference between the input image and the closed image so depending on our requirements we are using all of them as uh, some of them not all of them and uh, just I give you an idea whichever you need it you can use it so let's run uh, the application the overall concept is same I created a kernel and use this morphological uh, morphology ex method to perform morphological operations that is the advanced uh, operations I selected the what kind of operation that I want to perform I gave the kernel into this one and this is the anchor point I mentioned that this is the pixel that we want to re replace and the border type and the scalar these are just uh, how we will keep the border of the image file open we open the linear image again this is the erosion this is dilation this is opening this is closing this is gradient operation you can see the edges are highlighted over here this is the top height this is black height let's do a dilation and erosion on a binary image i call it dilate sorry di dilate on binary i just call it like this erosion on binary so i will convert the image into a binary image and then perform the dilation if uh, int i will use the same uh, condition if input equals equals null then i should return now what i want to do is since uh, the input image is in bgr i want to convert it into a uh, gray scale so i will use the convert gray gray of byte so this method will convert it into a gray scale image and after converting to a gray scale i want to apply the threshold a binary threshold on it and just i say 120 is the minimum if in threshold and if it is greater then replace it with 255 the gray values and then now i want to dilate this image and i just want it one time and to display it in the picture box i just convert it into bitmap so picture box what two dot image equals this also i just copy it and do the erosion using the same concept so instead of uh, dilation i just erode it let's see the results so file open an image lena and then perform the dilation so you can see this is the dilation and this is the erosion the impact of dilation and erosion is that the dilation tends to increase or aid the pixels on the boundaries while the erosion tends to remove the boundaries that actually depends on the structuring element that you select for performing the operation so that was all about how we can perform the dilation and uh, erosion using emguCV 
hope to see you in next videos